even as much as the human race has managed to understand an, an amazing amount about the, with the place we live in, the universe we live in, there's a lot of things we don't understand. We don't understand why we're here at all, really. We don't understand how life starts. So, you know, the, the, the stuff you say about, like, emo, you know, emotions and well, you talk about uh, whether... Um, rooms can sort of become you know videotape which is is maybe a bit out there but you you don't know what you know that the, an, an emotion is an energy uh an energy isn't destroyed you know so th there may be some way that something from the past can hang around into the future you know it's not beyond the realms of science i would say I, I think you know I, I, what i've always enjoyed is like laying everything out on the table and exploring it and and yeah. and keeping an open mind, uh, I think, th throughout and kind of listening to stuff, but at the same time, not being credulous and not jumping on certain things. You know, like, you know, in, in the book, I talk about stone tape theory and I have a quantum physicist explaining why stone tape theory can't exist. You know, it's like, <laughs> yeah. you know, you wouldn't you wouldn't get that on Most Haunted, you know. Um, but um, I, um, I, I, think, I think it's important to kind of explore all these different things and kind of probe each one and see kind of how it stands up to a bit of interrogation. But yeah, yeah I, I don't know. I mean, I... I I, I feel acutely that I love the idea that we have not discovered everything there is to discover. And yeah. I think about the excitement of the Victorian era discovering, you know, cures for diseases and electricity and new species. And, you know, to, to have that thrill of being at the, the forefront of something, a, a new frontier, I, you know, I, I, I love that idea and, and sort of plugging in, I guess, to that kind of golden age of 1930s ghost hunters like Harry Price, you know, that, that kind of... Um, excitement where where being a ghost hunter was a bit like indiana jones you know kind of you know that that kind of exciting slightly gung-ho we're gonna, gonna gonna try and crack this mystery um and i i love all that but um but yeah i don't know i mean ultimately each of these stories that i'm told boils down to a moment where a, a skeptic you know often a scientist says this can't happen and the person the witness at the heart of it says it happened to me you know, yeah. and 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 it's very hard to reconcile that. You know, and it's it's um, you know, it, it's a kind of like you know, you know, you had to be there kind of thing. Yeah. But 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 actually, uh, you know, these these stories kind of tr transcend that and go beyond that because there's so many different witnesses coming to the table. I think, and you know, there's a lot of evidence that accumulates. But but it's a really interesting dilemma that, and I think it's a, that how do we as a society as a people kind of deal with that kind of thing where you know, like somebody has had this profound experience and. You know, we try and debunk it. We try and sort of dismiss it, and yet, and yet, you know, the profundity of what happened to them is so intense that they they, they cannot possibly reconcile this. So we, I did one story for um, my first podcast series, Haunted, about this guy who'd had this kind of dreamlike vision, and he was this totally sensible, rational guy. This kind of advertising exec uh, in his fifties, I think, by that time, really kind of you know, kind of sensible guy. And he just could not move beyond the fear that he felt in that moment. It was so terrifying to him that he it felt like it had to be real. And even though every rational bit of him told him it must be a dream, it must be sleep related, he, he could never accept that. And it and it, it never provided the answer that would give him peace because it had been so terrifying. He couldn't he couldn't ever kind of um put a lid on that fear. 